Welcome, ladies and gents. I just love the fact that uh, the introduction was essentially a cow mooing there, if you heard that. We have more Exploding Kings, and we have a lot of excitement that will take place here. Um, so, recently, the trend has been Exploding Kings on this channel. It just seems to be... I mean, the views on YouTube seem to be booming. <laughs> the comments section is booming. Everyone's enjoying it, so we're going to ride it out. And we're not going to try and ruin it exactly, but we're going to see how many crazy things can happen with it. And I'll do the introductions now. I'll remind you kind of how the whole exploding thing works. And then uh, we have some other things to talk about here on Hideout. So in the green, we have Vikings for just out of range. Uh, in the gray, we have Rahl playing as the Britons. In the uh, pink or magenta or purple, we have You Lost So What playing as the Chinese. In the red, we have Bad Speller playing as the Koreans. In the blue, we have Space Kench playing as the Persians. In the teal, we have a very talkative Argent Stew playing Malians. In the yellow, we have Bretelion playing as the Lithuanians. And then last but not least, we have Edub playing as the Aztecs. So if your king is killed, there is a countdown and then there is a massive explosion that can take out virtually everything in a pretty wide radius. So what I found is, at least recently, that if you kick someone off, if you piss someone off and you start being annoying, some people in community games, despite it being really hard to get into community games, will happily just yes. detonate their king right next to your base. So there's kind of extra reasons to be nice to people when you're out here. Uh, the map is hideout, so you share a big wood line in the center. I'm really looking forward to a king exploding so we could maybe see some of these trees disappear, but... Otherwise, you've got relics and you've got gold around the map. It's a pretty good map for Diplo in the late game if you want to trade. And the last thing to mention, because I know people, if this if this hits YouTube, are going to be wondering. Um, my my chat overlay was bugged. So there's unfortunately no chat from the stream here. There's a bunch of people and they're saying, you smell YouTube. They're saying a bunch of awful things. Oh, God, they're making your mom jokes and everything. Oh, jeez. Anyways, I don't have the chat up because of that bug so i apologize or uh maybe maybe you're excited about that i don't know also we don't have any like improved casting overlay yet but we'll get there eventually um i'm hoping it'll come before christmas but maybe it'll be just after christmas we'll have a real cool way to display community games to you guys but yeah um you know you want to hear something funny as we as these players are going to boom up um so, you know, I, I made the platform switch and, and there was a lot of drama at the time, right? I got a lot of negativity. I've already talked about that. It wasn't great, but for the most part, a lot of people have been positive. We've had more people showing up than I ever expected and it's been a good time, right? Um, and so some people who would mainly watch on YouTube, they weren't as invested in the whole stream thing, right? So, you know, they might see some of these strong opinions and think, well, that's a little ridiculous that that person would say that hurtful thing to C90. And so everyone reacts to that a little differently. And there was a YouTube video like three days ago. And one of the first comments was, gotta love how Twitch chat called YouTube smelly all the time. And now YouTube isn't affected at all, but Twitch is affected. Like it was some type of, of battle, you know. The YouTuber needed to defend YouTube's honor Toyo? from the people who had called them smelly. <laughs> And I thought it was really funny because a lot of people here on the stream, like, regardless of the platform, are still calling YouTube smelly. It's a joke, people, okay? Just saying, it's a joke, okay? Um, it's not like, I mean, maybe one person out there thinks that people on YouTube actually smell, but I'm fairly certain the majority of people who watch me also watch YouTube videos. We don't think you smell, at least any more than the people here on the stream smell, so... What is this? Purple says, T90 taught me everything I know, so if I'm bad, you know who to blame. No! No, 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 no. That's not how this works, okay? This is this is how it works. If you're bad, you didn't listen to me. It's not if you're bad, it's my fault. That was sneaky. Uh, well played, Mr. You Lost So What, but... You didn't think that one through. Also, the scouts are AOE 1 scouts. There's a weird mod I have on right now I forgot to remove, so. Gray, being chill, says, how's everyone doing? All right. It's nice of him to ask. Not sure if I missed any other conversations. Greens is nervous. People do get nervous in these community games, especially when you watch and 
you think that you would you would do so many different things if you play in one and then it takes you a year to get in you're like oh man the pressure's on now it's pretty easy to say like why didn't that person do that thing but when you actually step in here it's a completely different ball game i'm wondering if the players are close enough where if one king detonates there will be a chain reaction kind of feels like no I think if Blue's King were to detonate here, for example, it would maybe take out Red's TC, but not Red's Castle. But it does depend. It seems like the castles are on opposite sides of the base every time. So, okay, here would work. I think if Green died, Gray would maybe get hit as well. <laughs> I love watching VODs when I want to and love my own smell heart, says Grapenator. Okay, Grapenator, why did I choose to read your message there? Yeah, I assume the play here, because it's hideout, is they're going to boom. And it's different than other maps. Normally, you start on the outer ring, and then you push towards the middle. But here, it's you got to expand to the outside. And what's awkward is your best fortification is closer to the center, which is the most vulnerable area when nukes go off. So, it's like, do you want to expand your king out here? I'm not so sure, but, you know, eventually they might get more castles and things like that. I remember getting into a blue coffee game, being super excited, and dying first, says Gundrick, right? <laughs> Reminds me of the guy last week who got into his first community game, and then he disconnected. And so I gave him a spot in another community game because I felt bad. And then he was scouting with Exploding Kings, and Sully shot the guy's king with his town center, which we thought no one would do because no one would be dumb enough to shoot a king in Dark Age, because then you just kill yourself, and wouldn't you know it, Sully was dumb enough, and that poor soul died twice within five minutes. In two games, that person played like 10 minutes in community games. Hey guys, I'm from New Zealand, so I don't like to fight. I'll build a market here so we can get trade and get money. And then Yellow says, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> oh, we got some good Loey the Legends in here. Green says, we're all winners. And Arjun Stu is down here. He's down to talk business. He says, hey, Red, I'm only talking to you. What's up? Not much, just chilling. All right, good response. If I recall, Bad Speller has a decent amount of skill. And I hate to say that because he's kind of a troll. And I don't like to give, I don't like to give the people who make all the jokes in my channel power. But he's got three TCs right now. The eco's looking fairly standard. Whereas, you know, for some others, they're not on the town centers or in Castle Age yet, so. Hmm. I love you, says Yellow. But he says that to everyone. If you That's like sending a group message that says I love you to seven different people. It doesn't feel as strong as if you send it to just one. And Teal says Teamsies. And Red says, yes, let's use the corners for trade. Okay, so, so Red... Is, has one of the best post imp sips in this game, and he's had a really good start. That's something to think about. He actually has the only civilization that gets siege on it. Oh, no, he doesn't. Aztecs is in there. And now I forget if Malians get siege on it. Okay, there might be three civilizations that get siege on it here. But Koreans get insanely strong siege. We have a signal from Gray, and Gray says, I also put a market here. Yes. We see red say, should we kill blue so there's no in-between? And that is definitely something you need to think about. Being in the middle position is usually the worst because they'll want to clear you out so you don't influence their trade. Hmm. Nilis, I know I don't like to give ducks... Uh, or sorry, I know I don't like to give right, trolls power. The reason ducks became a mod here... Is because my other... <laughs> well, okay, Ducks... I enabled him, that's the thing. <laughs> Ducks wasn't as big of a troll. But then he, he got power, and some people, when they get power, they just go crazy, you know? I feel like... I mean, obviously, no complaints over Ducks. Ducks is awesome, but that's the way to explain it. Hmm. Maybe I'll set up my market here in the corner, says Teal. Yeah, I mean, they're thinking about the late game. They are thinking about the late game, that's for sure. 48 villagers for space. Whoa, space! Well, Persian town centers do work faster, so that's nice. Three TCs. 
How's purple doing? Purple over here with Chinese. Two TCs. Three TCs. All right. So these guys definitely have their act together. Because you want to hear something that's kind of... I mean, it sucks, but it's also kind of funny. So here on the new platform, a lot of people think they have to use their first and last names. You don't have to. There's a... I would call workaround right now as green goes woo 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 and I don't know why so I'm just going to say woo 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 um yeah it's it's something that works right now where you can use a gamer page so you know let's say your name was was Jimmy Billity Bob 6969 you can create that page and you can interact on the stream so it's still a way to interact on the stream without your first last name um and so anyways a lot of people are doing that some people aren't and that's fine but you know for ducks he's like I call him the head mod, you know, he's, he's one of the biggest, most active mods on the channel. So uh, he creates his page, I give him mod access and <laughs> Facebook thinks he's a bot <laughs> and <laughs> they, they kicked him off his page. <laughs> and so he disputed it because this has happened to some other people too, right? People would just dispute it and then they get their account back. But for ducks, they didn't give him his account back. They denied it. <laughs> so it's like, one of the most important people on my channel. And Ducks, of course, is a massive troll. And they're like, nope, can't trust him. Boom, he's out of here. Wait. So he has another one now, and it's been working. He hasn't been banned yet. But I just think it's so funny that of all the people that Facebook would deny, it's Ducks. As Yellow says, he, 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 he. And Yellow says, save me. He says, please help me, I'll save you. What's up with the he, he, he's, though? I don't, I'm not understanding that. We actually have knights from yellow, which is fairly aggressive. Yellow's trying to get relics, but I can't find the monastery because I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Okay. Grape says, I just realized the workaround has turned my gamer page into a comedian page. E e did you set yourself as a comedian? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's... um. So, to be honest with you guys, there were a few things that... Uh, and I, I will, I promise you, we're going to discuss more of the game here once we see... Wait a second, why does Purple have his king here? Red could easily kill him. I think he's tempting Red to kill that. He says, hi, Red, my king is in your TC, but Red set his gather point out here and ejected the king out of his base. Yo, that's so amazing! That's so funny! So Purple wanted to troll... And he knows that red will never want to kill that king because it will lead to an explosion. And purple thinks he's being cheeky. He says, my king is in your TC. Let's call it insurance that we stay friends. Oh my god, purple. Purple. You can't talk smack and not make sure that your king is here. Oh my god. Purple. Red just played you. I can't believe that just happened. Okay. <laughs> Purple? This is not on me. Remember at the start of the game, he said that if he ever made a mistake, it would be on me because he learned everything he knows from me? This is not on me. So Purple doesn't even realize. Red ejects it out here far away from his base and now walls it in and now is going to make a tower. And Red hasn't said anything. Maybe because he sucks at spelling if you look at his name. Oh, like it was such a good idea from purple and now <laughs> Now he realizes he's like OMG. No, 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 don't do it Don't do it Now I think they're still allied right now And I would not send my war wagons this way because you're gonna lose most of what well everything that's out here So bye purple. It was nice knowing you. That's definitely not my fault. And purple's been defeated, and he looks like a damn fool right now. And green says, uh-oh, and everyone else should be thinking, uh-oh, because there's going to be an explosion. Now, there's a chance that that red will lose 15 vills here. Like, I really think that some of these villagers and some of these villagers could be within range. I'm going to zoom out, and let's see what type of damage this does. But I do not think it will actually kill reds. Yeah, that's what I mean. It does not kill red, but barely. So Red lost a bunch of vills now. Red's just talking about it. He's like, lol, he put his king in my TC. So I ejected it somewhere and walled it in. Red's going to be so upset that the stream chat isn't up here right now. So we are all losing our minds over this. 
And that's two TCs down for red, so he does pay a price, but I think it's probably worth it. Worth it for the highlight. Woof! Talk about calculated. I mean, that was a couple tiles away from his castle going down. And so, okay, he's just going to add a new town center. He's going he's gonna to add his walls again. Uh, doesn't look like the trade went down. Yo, guys, the regional trade carts! They added these. Oh, these are my favorite. Look at the wheels. Sick. Nice rims, bro. I've never seen an oxen move that fast. But yes, there's five different types of trade carts now. Uh, thank you to the devs for that. And I'm not even... I'm not being sarcastic. I actually think that's really cool. And, uh, yeah. One person down, and, and that gives us an idea and a reminder of what those kings are able to do. But yeah, what I was talking about, I think, before that king exploded, we, we will have to focus more and more on the game now as there will be more action, but... There were definitely a few things I would consider deal-breakers regarding this move, right? Like... For example, if I couldn't upload to YouTube any longer, uh, if I had to change who I, if I couldn't cast with people, if I couldn't go to events, if, if people couldn't interact with a username, th those are all the things that like came to mind of, yeah, obviously this deal is awesome. It's a new chapter. It's a, it's a fresh challenge. It, it helps, it helps increase the longevity of doing what I'm doing, but like there's certain things that, that would have been a no regardless for me and and one of those was the usernames so it's a workaround right now before things change and i don't really have too much details or i can't speak on them anyways as far as improvements go we have to assume maybe there will be no massive changes sorry i'm fixing my mic um but yeah so i'm, I'm just really glad that uh you know people kind of had the option is i guess what i'm getting at and i've been really happy with the amount of people that showed up and uh you know, overall, just the amount of good feedback on the channel has been really good. Especially at a really weird time. Because, as we see, I forgot about the firework thing. Because I'm in a weird spot with, like, Age of Empires 4, right? I like Age of Empires 4, but I'm not sure if I'll love Age of Empires 4. I don't think Age of Empires 4 will replace AOE 2 for me. There's just, like, a lot of weird stuff going on, and everyone's in a different position. So, it's been cool to see everyone still have interest in the channel. That's that's pretty much it. That's my rant. And uh, pay attention here because we're going to have plenty of military. You see Argent is making some infantry. Being Malians makes sense to make some infantry. And Argent is trading with red. Blue is right between them. I think with space's score being so high and space not really interacting with those two, I think space could be in trouble. Because we have a strong player who doesn't seem to be the close, or as close as, or, or what's the word here? I can't speak today, I'm sorry. He just doesn't seem to be as close, and as in touch with the others. Hmm. Okay. Um, Chupta says, I know you can't give any details, but were there any general things Facebook said you couldn't do here versus Twitch? Uh, no. No. Like, obviously, if there was, I, I wouldn't be able to speak on it, but... It's important to me that whenever I'm online, whatever I'm doing, is like, I just want to be able to be me, right? And I've always been that way. Uh, and so that's, you know, if, if they would, like, if I had to say certain things and do certain things and change who I am and, and you know, chill out for a brand or something like that, um, like, hey, you should try this new energy drink. Or actually, I would love to have an energy drink sponsor because I drink them all the time. Bad example, but... Yeah, not really. Um, obviously, Twitch is, like, super disconnected. They, I don't even... I, I spoke to them many times, but very rarely got responses, and they just kind of are there. Um, and they're big enough where they can just do whatever they want, regardless of what creators or viewers think, right? So, it was a different environment. Anywho, this has been a boomy game. Uh, we have had one actual explosion. And I'm looking over here now, because Gray is making petards. So, we have plenty of petards on the way, enough petards to maybe take out a castle. And green is allied with gray, but does not see any petards. And if there were a civilization that would counter the Vikings and their fast imp, good economy arbalest, it's normally the Britons, because the Britons have great archers and similar siege, but the Britons have extra range. And that would even apply to 1v1s if you guys are tryhards out there. And like your 1v1s and you, you're sick and tired of Vikings. 
you might not be able to compete fully with the Viking Eco, but you can pick Britons and go for the crossbows. Also, can we talk about the fact that, that th the person on the trade car is kind of like mush? You see that? You see how he's got that stick and he's whacking it in the butt? Oh, wow. The other one's doing it as well. And it's like very fast. Holy crap. Oh, oh, they ran into each other here. Traffic jam. Hey, Blue, what for you castle my goals? Okay, so I think Blue is making some enemies now. And Blue says, just getting map vision slash control, nothing sinister. Sorry, he big chillin'. All right. So here's the deal, guys. What Blue is doing is probably making people not trust him. However, the castles in the trade is huge because... If teal and red ever turn on blue, blue will shoot down all their trade. Really sure. I mean, it's taking red some time to build back up. Red is making a lot of trade right now. Also, is going for elite war wagon. And I think that's a good response from blue. And, and now you have Argent saying, please move away from that gold. Yeah, blue is being a little greedy here. This is gold that you could argue belongs to teal. Like, there's a gold right here that Blue could take. And I think Teal's not going to be very happy with this. I think Teal might consider turning. Just even on principle, even if Teal loses. And now Blue says, did you enemy me? And I think Teal's going to say, like, I set you to neutral because you're on my gold. Give me the gold and then we're fine. But this is not a good start to a relationship, guys. I'm no relationship expert. In fact, that would be a hilarious... I, I should just cancel streaming Age of Empires and I should just give relationship advice because that would just be more of a comedy than anything. Um, but like, I don't think that bickering over a gold and not trusting each other is really a good sign for the future. Now, Teal might even be a little nitpicky because there's other golds over here and there's nothing that's saying that Teal can't take that gold himself. But the communication is definitely not there right now. Also, what's up, Fear? What's yes. up, Iced Coffee? Welcome. Hmm. Green says yes, but I'm not sure who, who Green is saying yes to. And Gray is walling this because they've chopped through and Gray doesn't completely trust Green. So I think this only real alliance right now is probably Teal and Red. Now you have Yellow asking Gray how it's going. And Red says I'm about ready. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to turn on Blue here. And blue will have paladin and a ton of resources. So what they really need is help. Like, that's the one unit they need. Malians don't get help. And then Koreans don't have help out. Yellow just wants to be friends with everyone. Says, uh, I know it's late, but do you want to team up? And Gray's probably like, uh, I just don't want to die right now. Okay, guys, it's about to go down. Gray says, let's do it. But Gray isn't even an imp. 7,000 gold and not an imp! I think Gray should be talking to Green right now and say, Listen, don't do this. We'll need each other. Ready. Have you set to ally? So up to use is blue. He's talking to Teal. And I think Teal does not seem very agreeable right now. And even that response, like, if Blue really wanted to be friends with Teal, Blue would say, Hey, no, no, listen. Be friends with me. We can win the game together. Not, it's up to you. You're doing this to yourself if you turn on me. Okay, Teal says, going after this castle. So yeah, it's going to be a 2v1 against Blue. We actually have the top three players fighting it out. And Teal says, if you give me some of that gold, I might reconsider attacking. I actually think Blue is going to sling him some gold here. That would be my guess. Just, just to keep him quiet, you know? And Blue says, you can have the three tile below my castle. I won't attack you. This is like, do I need to write a book called Diplos for Noobs? Like, this is so bad. They obviously don't like each other. They're not even trying to hide it. <laughs> Both of them have done a horrible job. I guess it, it benefits Teal because at least Teal... Um... At least Teal is a friend in this fight. Because here comes Red. 
king is inside of this castle and blue sees this. Yeah, I think blue's been waiting and paladins are actually, they, they ejected, but they're bugged inside of the stable. Oh no! It's like 15 paladins just stuck. Now I've seen this bug before. I think if you click them out, they'll actually come out. But I could be wrong. And I think red's making a mistake here. I think if you have a hal buffer, then you're okay. But if it's paladins v wagons in these numbers, the paladins will be fine. And Red's saying he has a lot of Paladin, and Teal hasn't made a move yet. And Teal is... So, Blue just said, I won't attack you, and Teal is saying, hey, you should have given me tribute, basically. But meanwhile, if I'm Red, I'm like, uh, buddy, you're not fighting on the other side. Yellow's talking about bringing his army to his friend here. Who's he talking to? We also have Orange down here. Are they gonna go after Teal or after Blue? Teal says, I'll go Spears. But, like, I think the timing here is just as bad as it could possibly have been. You're 200 pop, Teal. You need to make your move. Here comes Yellow. And Blue says, Red, why you do this? I don't think he should really be surprised. I think that Blue has done a poor job of communicating for a player who is top scorer. The best players always need to talk more, otherwise they're going to get kinged up on. So, I, I guess, like, while blue has a lot of units in queue, he's going to be 3v1 here. As that castle will go down. The yellow says orange is fighting me. So I think yellow's freaking out. He's like, uh-oh. He, he said he's very scared. You know, he wants a lot of friends. He's got some worries. He's missing blacksmith upgrades. But as for blue, I mean, if blue can kill red somehow... Keep in mind, he doesn't have ballistics. Oh, he's getting it now, but he's not killing as much of the trade as he would want. But if red dies to this, blue could maybe turn around to deal with the others. Oh, and red accidentally queued up too many traps. No! Oh, God, there's traps everywhere. And here comes blue with traps to push the castles, guys. This is crazy. Teal still hasn't turned on blue. Okay, chat, would you be upset if you were red? And you found out that Teal still hasn't fought the guy. Actually, no, that's not true. Teal did because he took out one castle. That's not true. Now, this might benefit Teal because Teal could... He could realize how things are going right now. And he could say, hey, Blue, I'm with you. He could just pick the player that's winning and say, hey, I'm sorry about that castle. I think you're cute. Let's go out, you know? That normally works. You can see the trade is going down. Blue still hasn't turned on Teal, as you can see. This is just damaging red. Who I think wants to go help and is getting the infantry upgrades, but doesn't have many barracks yet. Because the pressure's on. And the pressure could be too much to deal with. There's there's trebs back here that will continue to take out castles. And there's just paladins everywhere. Yellow's probably going to shift back into defense. He does have elite latest, which is actually amazing against the Aztecs. But, um... There's a lot more where that came from from orange, so he's going to start tread pushing. Green and gray, I'm surprised, haven't been fighting at all. It really looked like they were earlier. And green says, gray, we good. Castle is there because I had the res. Okay. Meanwhile, gray has rams. Oh, sorry. Mangonels and petards. Going to try and get orange, says green. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. The king for red is in this castle so there's a few more castles to take out yet if you're blue but it will happen there's no doubt in my mind and now space is asking orange to help and orange says sure i just got bored <laughs> i love that he's like i didn't really i didn't really think tactically i just wanted to fight <laughs> being attacked by yellow and red is what blue says but blue still doesn't know that teal turned on him as teal is just taking out a castle yeah, I mean, in Blue's defense, there's really no way someone should be able to kill three people. Regardless of how good he is, I just... You don't have enough pop. He's out of gold now. But at the same time, I mentioned it earlier, I think Blue needed a friend, and this is the moment. It's a good job from him to be able to kill Red. I expect him to be able to at least continue to push Red, but if the other guys take out Blue a little faster, as they are doing now, it's very satisfying. Maybe blue goes down before red goes down. And red doesn't have enough for more paladins, so. 
Ice coffee. Um, I don't know. We don't have an ETA for when we'll have the updated casting program for for community camp. But I can just tell you guys that we're working on it. So, you know, the difference for Red is that he had he had a lot more gold banked up, and so he's been able to hold on with the wagons. And I don't think he'll die now. I'm just so ready for Gray. Guys, Gray doesn't even have Arbalest. Gray's an imp without Arbalest, but has tons of petards and trebs. Gray clearly wants to snipe. Now, for Yellow, this is going to hurt if you rewatch this Yellow, but look there and see that he does not have the final... Oh, wait, he doesn't have any attack upgrades, and he also doesn't have the final armor upgrade right here. That's really bad. So his plus two attack is from the two relics he has. And teal and yellow seem pretty talkative together. And the thing is, I think Latest just destroys everything that Orange is making. But the upgrades would help. Red says, go kill him. He's down a lot of Paladin. So obviously he's talking about blue. Teal has been a little slow. The red is correct. Good job from Red to hold on here, honestly. Good, very good job. I think he should be trading the other way. I think trading with Gray would make sense now. And we do have markets in all the corners, but very little trade running, considering all that. Yeah, I really like this addition with the tech tree. It's, I mean, ideally we don't need it if we have a proper cap trade system working. But this works while you're playing the game, and I think it's really helpful for people. And you know what else is amazing about it? If you don't want it, there's a setting... And you can just remove it so it doesn't work. That's great. I, I I want options for people, right? Like there's a lot of things I've said I want, but I like it to be options. Like for example, when someone says shit, I want to see it in the game instead of a bleep. I want to see the language. But you might not want your seven year old to see the language. And you might not be upset with me because I just swore and you had your seven year old listening, so I'm sorry. Uh T90 is a very bad very bad man i'm not a role model <laughs> but yeah like you know i just i like options i think options are important hmm lack of customization is the future t90 don't even get me started okay don't even get me started <laughs> if i get going man i can't be stopped and i think yellow is just so bent out of shape and so stressed and focused on these fights that yellow continues to take fights without crucial upgrades. What it could be is 16 plus 6 attack. And it could be mm, a, a lot of additional armor. Additional pierce and additional melee armor. Yellow's been taking okay fights against us. But the fights would be so much better. And oh, orange was defeated by green. Green made a move. Now where's the carcass? Okay, that's the king. That was where the king went down. And there will be an explosion here. I missed that. So, let's see if the army can escape. It's very possible all those arbs and trebs still go down here. There's a wide radius on this explosion. And here we go, people. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, God! That, you know what? That took out every single thing that Orange owned, except for maybe a few villagers and a trade card. That was amazing. And Yellow's like, thanks, bud. A good job from Green. And Green was able to save some of his army, but most of it went down. And that's two people down and two massive explosions. Our just score just goes up, I think, because of the kills there from the nuke. Uh, Blue still trying to fight on here. Only at 100 pop, just doesn't have gold. And Teal taking his good old time, but I think this is the end of Blue. And Blue says, Teal, let's talk about this. I'm being attacked by you and Red, and I don't like it. Okay, now, this probably isn't helpful at this stage, but again, maybe talk a little earlier instead of after things go wrong. Teal's already got one foot out the door, you know? It's hard to get someone to turn around when it gets to this stage. And now you have nothing to offer. Like, you, you don't have any promise of protection to give Teal because Teal can just kill you and continue to trade with Red. Yellow might be able to help out Teal a little bit. And Gray is still the player I'm really curious about because Gray, for a while now, has had petards and trebs and arbalest and is just waiting. Yellow says, this is a chat between myself, Green, and Gray. Okay, I like that. 
Green says hey. I think we should all ally and slowly take down the giants. I, I agree with this. I agree with this. And Gray says I agree, but the problem is Gray has not set out this game to play an, an alliance game. Gray has had 20 petards in those castles for a while. And we're just out of range, says red is biggest threat. Could make an argument for that, certainly, with red's score. Especially after red rebounded from those attacks early. And then Teal says to blue, still waiting for that tribute, winky face? What? I literally don't have gold. Do you want food, question mark? Okay, listen. If Teal lets blue live, blue will 100% turn on Teal later on for that comment. I literally don't have gold. Do you want food? Okay, literally is wrong. You very much do have gold, but I wouldn't send any of that gold either. All right, yellow. We're going to remove this now. Okay, we're going to remove that because that's kind of in the way. Yellow did get some upgrades, which is good to see. And loves to make the latest. Did blue even send anything? I think blue is really focused on getting Hussars and Halps out to kill this right now, but it might be too little too late. Teal just wants res. And at the same time, I don't even think Blue has faith that Teal will stop attacking him after the resources are sent. So Blue, honestly, if you're Blue and you think you're going to die here, oh my god, is he intentionally chopping that tree? Can you imagine? I mean, he could Hussar raid first off, which would be really cool. But if he thinks he's going to die, he could send his king right into Red's base. Remember, the kings are explosive, so if you... You feel like you've been hard done by. You feel like they they didn't respect you. Disrespect them. War wagons are insanely strong. Hussars do only cost food, which is nice. They're probably not going to get too many kills, though. The king has not moved out, but blue is going to run through with Hussars. And this will drop red's pop significantly. However, he's got food and he's got wood, so you've got to think he responds to this. And Teal is just coming in from the other side. It's just slow and steady here. Plus, the castles will help. I mean, if Red loses like 50, 60 villagers, it will hurt him in the long term. He's actually he's accidentally queued up some militia right now. Yellow? We haven't seen much in the way of conversation from Yellow. I think Yellow should be making markets. Like, he's currently saying he wants to team up with the others, but he's trading with Teal. And Blue says, Yellow, are we friends? And I think that's a no. Because remember, Yellow attacked Blue earlier. But Yellow's such a nice guy. And look at this! Just because Blue wants to be friends with Yellow and Yellow's so nice, Yellow says, hey, do you think we should add Blue to our team and kill Teal? <laughs> that's funny. And you know what? Green says, at the same time, Yellow wears Teal's king. So I genuinely think that Yellow just doesn't like to be mean to people and is now considering being friends with Blue. And Yellow says, I'm not really sure. Teal, I'll actually give you whatever you want. Help me with Red and stop attacking me, lol. It's too late, Blue. It's just too late. You didn't have the conversations early enough. There's no reason. You already said you don't have gold. Like, that, that would be the biggest thing if you could give him gold. But you already said you don't have it. So the only thing that would really get Teal to stop attacking you is just Mercy. And I don't think Mercy gets you any victories here in war. Hmm. WDW Kid in chat says Yellow is my brother. He's definitely being fake. It's like your real life brother? Is he, is he at home right now? Okay, there's the king for blue. And Teal tried to hit it. Now Blue can't send his king in towards Red and towards Teal, which could mean... Oh, I hope Yellow's king doesn't go down. What if we stack on me and snipe Teal, not your gray? Okay, so they're being a little passive, talking about things. And Green brings up an excellent idea, and he's like, just let them kill each other. Okay, Blue should run towards Red right now. Run! Can he make it? The Gebettos! Here they go! There's a gate right there he could run through. If he can get close to red, 
It every little bit helps here. Okay, the king goes down. Blue is out. Now, the king for red is inside of this castle. That most definitely will kill red if he doesn't run away. Okay, and now red is going to run away, which is a good move. But this will be the second time that red has had a nuke go off near his base this game. He's also going to lose all of his war wagons. I think I... Oh, it's going to be so close, but I think his king survives. Here we go. You ready? Oh, God. Red is down to 53 eco. He just says, ouch. And, uh... You know, the war wagons are all down. Some Javettos survived, but that was brutal. Thankfully, he was able to get his wagons out. And thankfully, he still has trade queued. So I think red is fine. But he went from like 30 or so farmers down to 7. And he's like, let's just rebuild those TCs. There's also a big chunk of wood now out of the middle, which will be important. And Teal's going to take the relics home, which is smart thinking. Red is very out of position, and gray can cut into purple and sneak. Oh my god. Guys, gray's been silent all game. Gray says, I'm sending petards to red. Okay, you do have army though, right? You realize you need to have army with petards. You're not going to kill a king with petards. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy! Oh, okay, so red notices this. He sees the petards walking over. And now there's a signal from Gray, and he's like, hey, Red's on the move right now. And now all the petards are going to go down, so Gray realizes, let's just take out the castle. Get next to it! Oh, God, that was such a waste. Ouch. Well, Red's going to survive that, and now Red will probably turn over on Gray, and Gray's probably like, guys, we angered him. The Red did say, Gray is coming for me with petards. At your side, gray it is then. Just let me know. Teal going for gray. Wait a second. So, yellow saying teal going for gray. So, he's telling gray and green that teal has just told him they're going for gray. Meanwhile, green is going through the middle like a boss with onagers. He says, I'm in the middle going for teal. Gray forgot to turn red to enemy, I think, says green. Uh, that's not the case, actually. It's not what happened. It's just he didn't have army. And Grace says, I did. Okay, it was the case. Like I said, that's exactly what happened. Yay. I've never seen a trade raid with petards before. This is different. Hmm. Okay. I mean, if he can take out all the markets, what you don't want to do is overkill with petards. Because if you have like 20 petards and it only Yay. takes four to take out a market, but you click them all to explode at the same time, you'll... you'll sometimes explode many of those petards at the same time and they were unnecessary. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that does very little there. What, where's Teal's army at right now? He's got a lot of fakes around. A lot of players have one unit inside their castles to fake where their king is. Where's his army at? Oh, his army's here. Which might look suspicious to Red, to be honest. But Teal should notice that there's army coming through the middle because he's allied with green. The tricky thing is, is in these games where you have so much pop, 124 villagers is probably too much. You need more military space. And Yellow says, I'm going for it. And Yellow's going to make a move. See you boys on the other side, says Yellow. So Yellow's going to make a move in. Tell me he has the final armor right now. He does actually have the upgrades now. Okay. Um, wait, no, wait. Oh, I always forget that Lithuanians don't have Blast Furnace anymore. My bad. Um, so yeah, he does. Hit topside, I'll go from the trees, says Green. This is a very well-coordinated attack. I love it. All right. So it begins. Wait. Green just started attacking yellow? Green? I think that's a mistake. Yellow's attacking teal. I don't know if green is colorblind or, or what just happened, but... Okay, it was just a prank. Okay, he fixed that. And Yellow says, accidentally killed you. Sorry. I guess they both made the mistake? I don't... I don't know, but Teal reacts. And Teal rings the town bell. And Teal is freaking out here. And rightly so. Now, the king is over here. There's a lot of castles. The king is in this one. Yellow has the siege here. Also has the latest. 
Green has Berserks. Also Onager, but the Onager won't help against the buildings too much. I'd say the only thing that could hurt for Green and Yellow is their lack of Siege. The Teal says that's not nice Yellow, as Green is killing his own units with the Onagers. And now Yellow's units with the Onagers. Will Teal be able to hold this? He's going to send all this military back, but he has this gather... No! He has this gather point for his other buildings forward! All right. And Yellow says, nor are you. You killed Blue. <laughs> now you die! I'm loving it. Fully invested in the chat. Yellow says, I don't like bullies. <laughs> Was Blue even that good of a friend to Yellow, though? Like, honestly, no offense to Blue, because he's probably upset in my chat right now. But I don't even think Blue is that good of a friend. I think that the one time Blue reached out to Yellow and said, hey, maybe you want to be friends, was it was all that Yellow needed. It's not like Blue is like this big, admirable character who fought for, for other people here. He, he barely even spoke to Yellow. <laughs> well, anyways, this is what happened. So Teal has had resources for a while, and Teal just lost 60-some builds. What that means is with this type of a Q... He's going to have 180 military. Now, some of that military is over here, which kind of sucks. But a lot of that military is over here. And guys, last I checked, the king was here. Is it? Did it move? Okay, the king is here. Yeah. The king is here. Yeah, I think what they should do is they should just continue to focus for the king. If they know it's there. Yellow and green are killing me helps his teal. I think Teal is getting a taste of his own medicine right now. Do you remember that time when Teal took forever to help Red? Now Teal wants help from Red, but Red has other obligations. I, I think I think Teal is getting a taste of his own medicine. Now, in this case, Red actually has other things going on, so he's fighting Gray. Gray's probably upset that he started that whole thing with Red and didn't finish the job. But earlier in this game, there was definitely, like, a shout from Red, like, hey, help me. And Teal was still talking to Blue the entire time without fighting him. And if these Trebs eject that king, the king will be exposed, and the king goes right into the town center. Okay. And I think the Trebs go down. At the moment, I'm noticing Teal's Q is, for the most part, Pikemen, which will not work well with Malians. Especially not when Berserks are out there. And red says gray and yellow and green are allied. Should we put aside our differences and attack them? Oh, he's talking to gray. But little does he know that gray is in on that alliance. It would make me so happy if gray were to say, yeah, I know, I'm friends with him. <laughs> that would make me so happy. Guys, the Trebs are still here. If the Trebs click the town center, the king could go down for teal. Despite the crazy gold count for teal. Um, King's still in there. It's, it's he's slowly going down. Okay, here goes the king. I think the king will go down. And what's really nice for them is if they kill this king close by, then it will not damage yellow. Here it is. It's dead now. Okay, so it will hit this area, I think. The king for yellow is over here. So I, I've been trying to get an idea of what the radius is. I think a lot of the military for green and yellow will go down, but and I think his buildings will go down, but I do not think he'll die. And yellow says, in all chat, to red we go, as the explosion goes off. And it's honestly not too bad. Well, at least I didn't die first, says Teal. <laughs> okay, Teal really shoots for the stars. Teal's parents were very realistic parents. You know, like some parents say you can be anything you want to be when you grow up. Teal's mom and dad were like, yeah, you really can't. You're not, you're not, you can't do anything you want. Just like, just make sure you get by in life. And he's like, okay, all right, that's fine. A little too realistic. Like my parents genuinely believed I could have been an architect when I was six years old and like building structures with blocks. They were like, you can be an architect if you want to be an architect. And then I tried to do math. And I was like, yeah, mom and dad, you're full of it. Gray, they will come for you next. Please ally. Okay, so red is saying, listen, buddy. It seems like you're friends with them. But pretty clearly, yellow and green are buddy-buddy. You're not a part of that conversation. 
Now, yellow and green, I don't think, are planning right now to backstab gray. But I do think it is accurate that gray will probably be killed off before green or yellow is killed off. So, I mean, right now, there's four people remaining. It's a 3v1. Gray has to decide on if he wants to team up with the guy who's making militia in the Imperial Age right now. I mean, Red has been through so much in this game. But he can still trade. He's still Koreans. He still has a high score for a reason. He's been exploded twice. I don't think Gray has any interest in working alongside Red. Let me just say this. If, if Gray wants to win this game, I think Gray should actually take Red up on his deal. And I think that Gray should turn on Green right now. Green calls him out for the militia and says misclick. Or Red says misclick. Um, yeah, like, some things are bigger than winning the game, though. Everyone has a different honor code. Some people play, and they want to be the winner regardless. Winning is first and foremost in their minds. But I think Gray seems to be the type of guy who has a little bit more respect for friendship. I've got them distracted up top. Bring Trebs in at the bottom. Go get him. Yeah, like, Green is, you know, he's communicating with Gray, and he's trying to get Gray involved. Let's see. Is Gray doubling back right now? Is he doubling back? I mean, Green's king is very close by. No, no, no. Okay, he's not doubling back. Here he comes. Where is the king? Hey, the king is over here for red. Now, the thing is, Koreans are just sick in late game, man. <laughs> Wagons, halves, and then siege monitors, if he could make them, was just so strong. But there's just too many areas to be right now. There's that big clump of wagons, but they can't... They're not that mobile, so they can't be everywhere they need to be. Adoa in chat says, isn't it all about winning? Depends on the outlook. Some people will say yes, some people will say no. I think there are a lot of players who win at all costs, and I would say that, that viewers tend to have differing opinions on them. Like, Blue Coffee is the best example. Blue Coffee is win at all costs, okay? And people love him for that. But people also freaking hate him for that because he will break any friendship when it suits him. <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad that there's people who see the Diplo games differently, right? Because if everyone was the same, if everyone always went for the win, it'd be boring. Hmm. It's about fun. Yeah, and, and fun is subjective like people will have different definitions of fun some people think that winning is fun hmm biggest dickest hello hello my friend uh settings exploding kings regicide diplomacy and red is on the brink of death despite having a pretty high population king did move somewhere let me just double check and the king is in the trade and red says welp i'm toast 3v1 okay this is what you need to do if you're red you need to, you already tried with gray. You need to speak to green. You need to speak to yellow. And you need to say, listen, they're talking behind your back right now. You need to kill them before you kill me. And you need to try and stay alive that way. But I think that yellow, green, and gray have so much respect for each other. And remember, they said, let's kill the top dogs first. I think they do not want to break that pact until red is dead. And so, I mean, the king is out there. And they're doing a really good job. And I think it's just eventually going to unfold where Red has nothing. They forget a nuke taking out Red's eco. His eco is getting nuked by, by the siege. Gundrick says the least fun community game I ever played was the one that I won. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It depends. Okay, so of the three of gray, green, and yellow, who would be the one to go for the king snipe uh, on the others? If there was one player to do it, who do you think it'd be? I think it'd be Gray. Because Gray is the least skilled of all three of them, I think. Before he had petards in these castles, he still does have some petards in the castle, so it still might be in the back of his mind, or he could have forgotten. Update on red. Latis are actually chewing up these wagons once they're getting close. His king is now over here. Oh, they're not researching treason to find out where his king is. 
and he could send his king to their base. Wait a second, yellow is, is massing trebs and heading this direction. All right, red. I mean, red, he has resources, but he just does not have anywhere to go. Remember, most of your wood is towards the center, so it's hard for him to reboom. He's just left the king there for now. As he is trying to build up, he's going to try and go Hussar with Koreans. Koreans have the worst Hussars in the game, but it, it does have 20,000 food. Green and yellow will stay together till the end, says Odoa. I don't know that. I'm not so sure. Yellow's not sending units forward in the next wave. He's massing at home. It could be that he doesn't trust green, but... I think yellow has kind of painted himself as a noob that wants to love everyone. And now he's getting close to victory, something he never thought was achievable. And so his outlook on everything is changing a little bit now. Where's the king for red? Okay, here comes the king. And look at this. Red is currently guiding and escorting this king with the wagons. He knows he's probably dead, but he wants to make sure that he can get this king as close as possible to them. This is really good. Now, he's going to see the castle. So he knows to avoid that, but he could run right into yellow's eco. Ah! He deletes it there! Now, the thing is, is there's no defeated noise at times in this uh, game. I don't know why it is. I've talked to the devs about it, but they might not even realize red is dead. No, 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 they have. Yellow says, well, team. I think that ranges, guys. I think yellow would just die. Now, what's crazy is his gather point on the castle is set to the left. No! <laughs> oh, yellow! Yellow was typing. He had no clue. And yellow says, Well, team, it was an honor fighting at your sides. <laughs> Gray and green says, Same. And then yellow says, I got nuked by red. But he is alive. He still has his life. Red is going to be so disappointed when rewatching this. Red probably just assumed it was in that castle. But now, yellow is super housed. Like, yellow... I mean, Yellow got really fortunate. The monastery's still up with the relics. A lot of these castles are still up. I think if you're red, you have to assume that castle... Wait, what? Why is he... Shall we fight, says Yellow. Yeah, but like, why are you gonna send your king this way? And don't say it like that. Because that means that like, you're painting yourself as the bad guy. Gray and green could... Could go against you. If green researches treason and sees the king is there and kills the king, I'm going to lose my mind. I think that's a mistake from yellow. I There's no way he planned that. Okay, yellow says, it was an honor. We will stay together forever and give gray the win. My men deserve to come home and kiss their wives and feast before another long battle says green so here they come back home to go kiss their wives nice i like it <laughs> i think that's why green said wait because he had like a hundred pop on the other side of the map he's like no 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 no! don't fight me yet well played green well played now gray has plenty of resources plenty he shall be the leader for us as we die for him. Would you like to let him win, says Yellow. Meanwhile, Gray's not saying Jack. <laughs> if Gray gets this victory, I'm sorry. He has not chatted much at all. You and me, let's fight and give Gray the win, question mark. Yellow says, I agree. What? Have you no ambition? Gray says, hey, Green, it was you and me first. Go for yellow, question mark. Okay, now this is where this gets interesting. Because green just has an agreement with yellow. And that agreement was that they fight. Your army will destroy mine, says gray. So technically, if green starts to fight yellow and then gray shows up, it's not like green broke any rules. I'm going to get yellow or I'm going to get squished. I told you, they love each other too much. 
There's too much love in this team. <laughs> They're too nice. They, they don't even care. They're so selfless. They don't care about the win. They don't care about calling their mom and be like, Mom, I'm on YouTube. The legend of Brett Lion 01. That's me. It's me, your son, Brett. They don't care about that phone call. They just they just care about making sure the other person likes them and is happy. Or Valhalla, <laughs> says Green. He is Vikings after all. I actually need to get back to watching that show. Did you guys ever finish that show? No spoilers. I don't even know if it's done yet. I think I watched like the first two seasons. No, maybe it was third. I think I started getting a little tired of it near the third. Anyways. Yellow hasn't turned yet. And yellow also didn't even prep houses ahead of time. So yellow still... Okay, there are the houses. Yellow can't make any pop. Gray, green, and I will fight till next time, says yellow. Listen, Brett. I love you, buddy, but I don't think you thought this one through. You spent the last 10 minutes talking about fighting, and you don't even have pop space. <laughs> okay, he's going to make more castles over here. And for the 20th time in this game, one of the players says it was an honor. Guys, I would love so much for Gray to just snipe green right now. Like, wait a little bit. Wait until green takes a significant fight against yellow. And just have Gray break everything apart and snipe green. See you all in the next life, says Yellow. This is like the 20th time they've prepped for this fight. <laughs> Finding all the ways to chat. It's like we didn't have spec chat for two years, man. I've saved up all my ideas. You dipped out at season four? Okay. Got spoiled when it didn't even start it. Oh, gotcha. Okay, feels bad. But anyways, I thought Vikings was pretty good for the first two seasons. But I have a habit of burning myself out with stuff. So, I, I just, like, watch it too much and get, it gets old. So, it seems like Latus suck against Berserk Arbalest. I, I think Latus on paper should be pretty good against the Berserks. But having a, the range units behind as well helps a lot. Latus do have one less Pierce Armor than a Paladin would. So, they're just worse against Archers. And so, you know, they were expecting this massive fight. But this is... Feels kind of over already. Just out of range is going to clear this easily. And Gray seems to think that his army is just going to get wiped by Green. I'm not so sure with these resources. I'm not so sure. But I do think that Green seems to be more active. And Green may be a little more capable. Remember, Berserks with Chieftains also helped here. You do a little bit of extra bonus damage. A little bit of extra damage, I guess I should say. Against the latest, but... Also, I think Berserks being cheaper makes a big deal. But mainly the fact you've got Arbalest behind. Gray, if you... Okay, Murder Holes says Green. <laughs> he sees that Yellow has Murder Holes, so he goes, Murder Holes! I feel obligated to scream it when I see someone say that. Yellow is going to make more stables. It's going to try, but yellow just doesn't have the resources to make anything more. Hmm. Yeah, hi, Max. Remind me afterwards. I'll disable these mods because the mods are... The mods are a bit much, certainly. Worth reminding you guys that green and yellow said that they would give gray the win after uh, their 1v1 battle. So, as the relics eject, which makes the latest weaker now. They only have 16 plus 2. Yellow is most definitely going to die here. We'll see if Gray knows and, and believes he's going to get given a win, or if Gray will actually go out on the offensive. But Gray has a ton of resources. And I don't even think he has enough military. If, with these resources, I would delete half my eco. I would have 150 military. Because it's not about lasting late game now. You've got enough. It'll be a 1v1 battle. All right. Hurting, losing those relics really hurts. Because now you've got less attack. Instead of 16 plus 6, it's 16 plus 2. Rip there. All right. Yellow's going to reboom. Gray still isn't moving, which really bothers me. But I think he's thinking about it. it. It takes time to work up the courage to turn on someone you've loved your whole life. 
But guys, I mean, the king is right there. He's Britons. He's got Trebs. He's got Arbs. He could go for it. He could commit. There's not a lot here. It would shake things up. Gray did help considerably against red. Otherwise, I think green and yellow have been a little more active. Remember that Gray also didn't know what to do because purple was gone. So he didn't really have anyone to hit there. So he's been friends with green this whole game. So for a while at the start, it didn't really look like they would be. I would really like to see people research treason. Something green needs to do more is research treason. He wasn't doing it earlier. You've got the gold. I think research treason to find out where that king is. Because you're just giving time for the opponent to uh, to survive. I think we will see it any moment now because green seems a little confused. Still doesn't know what's up. And look, he's gone spread formation. He's hoping to patrol in the building. So, yeah, he just doesn't know where the king is. There we go. There's treason. So now he sees that castle. He won't see... The uh, terrain change there, so he won't know that there's that many other buildings. That's a spectating thing. But now he knows he's going to bring his army over. Yeah, so Gray has killed 120 units. It's not too bad, right? Um, it is fairly low considering the resources, but guys, guys! He's going to do it! He's at the very least prepping for when Green turns on him, but I think we are going to see the turn. Where are the latest for yellow right now? Oh, what the? Yellow's sending his king. Where's he going? Oh my. Guys, if he wants to give Gray the victory, he could send his king <laughs> through the path that Green cut in the middle right into Green's base. That would be amazing. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. That's brilliant. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. Holy crap. Because Yellow's basically dead here, right? For the last five minutes, he's he's been... He's looked clueless on how to deal with this. And look at Blue. Blue's like, yes, Yellow. Because obviously, Blue doesn't like green very much. Wow, that's amazing. Now, where's Gray's King? Gray's King is... Oh, wait, wait. Now Gray's making the move. Uh, I should use the hotkey. Wait, what? Oh, his king is over here. So I think Gray would survive any explosion. Here comes Yellow. And Yellow's going to die. So Yellow's been defeated. And now the king for green is right here. So the question is, does Gray get the kill? Or does the nuke get the kill? It's at five years right now. <laughs> Green says, crap, where did he do it? He doesn't know. He's trying to send all of his military back home. Wait a second. What if this doesn't kill the king? <laughs> it doesn't kill the king, but it does kill most of Green's military that he was going to use to defend himself. So Gray will end up ejecting that king. Gray, I don't think, really has a clue what happened over there. And it might be hard to see the king, but the king is there. That was a little too far away, but it still helps. <laughs> and I mean, if Green wants to fight this one back, Green could still do it. Green's got good resources, guys. It's going to be tricky against this many arms, but still. And Green's going to... Green calls the GG. And I remember he had an agreement that he would... He would end up giving Gray the victory. Which is a little lackluster, I think. And yeah, he ends up calling it. Uh, or maybe deleted his king somewhere. Um... Of course, there's no explosion for the final king kill because then one person wins. And wow. What a game that was. I mean, the best moment of this game, the absolute best moment of this game was when you lost so what? Thought he could be sneaky. I don't have the replay system right now. So just in case you guys missed it, in case you didn't see it in the video, <laughs> Purple thought he would be slick and he sent his king into Red's town center and said, hey, Red, you should be friends with me because my king is in there. He, he, he. He's like, hey, you, you can't kill me because then you'll kill yourself. And Red just <laughs> ejected the king over here and then killed it. And then, <laughs> and then Purple was left looking like a fool. And what's so funny to me is like, you just know that Purple's one of those people who's been watching streams and videos who's just thinking, man, what could I do 
if I got into a community game to make this really funny. <laughs> and so he does it. You know, months of preparation, months of thinking. He does it in a live community game and then completely forgets to look at his king location. Oh, God. And I'm not sure. Like, this game was solid. I'm not sure if we should... If we should upload that individual moment or if we should upload the whole video. I mean, both were solid, but we'll have to think about that. That was ridiculous. I feel for you, Purple, because I've been saying for so long, like, you should use your king as a weapon. And you should say, like, don't kill me. Or or even, like, you could, you could have them send you resources. And if they don't send you resources, you can detonate your king. You know, there's ideas. But uh, that was such a good game. I think what hurt space... And space is going to have to improve on this. And probably what hurt Argent as well is the lack of communication. Lack of communication. Teal and Blue just did not do a good job of portraying love or adoration for one another. It was all like a business deal the whole time. And I think they should have been more friendly with each other. And maybe Teal didn't have any intention of being friends with Blue. But then I think Blue could have probably talked to uh others like he was very late to talking to i think gray who was he talking to who did blue talk to oh he spoke to yellow at one point like, especially if you're a good player you're gonna have top score you need to make sure you talk a little more you need to game plan give resources you know just like make it seem like they want to keep you or, or make them want to keep you around uh now don't take any advice from me i'm the streamer so i try that when i play in these games and then people kill me anyways because they want it to be uploaded to YouTube and they want to laugh at it. But, but yeah, I think if you are you, if you're a normal community game member, you do have to keep a closer eye on those things. GG.